you'll smile back. I recognize your voice. I know it's you. And look, I can find you. Choo -choo. I need to check your reaction Good to boy. something. That's it. Good work, buddy. Before I know how to react. Please pick me up. Please. I'm decoding information. And I know what the information means. I'm learning the limits you've set. And I'm testing them. I'm learning to tell you things. But sometimes it's so hard to express myself. I'm beginning to decode print on the signs around me. I can read. Sometimes we'll hide a book on Javian because he likes to hunt for treasures. So when he finds the book, he often thinks the book is a treasure. Make books fun in your child's life. Liam loves books, and I'm sure it's because we've had books everywhere all his life. Tavon really enjoys the huge selection of books at the library. Books are tools. They should be fun to use as well as fun to read. Books can be everywhere. Stuff them into every nook and cranny in a child's life. Reading doesn't have to cost money. Get them from the library or the parents' center or use the advertisement inserts from newspapers to cut out the pictures of the items you want to buy before you go shopping. I do not like that Sam I am. Spend time with your children. There's never enough time to do everything that has to be done, but prioritize so that you can spend time developing language. Communicate with your children. Listen to them as they tell you how many times they love reading the same book with you. You want some more, buddy? You want some more? Let's see. Take your cue from them when they want to choose their bedtime book. Have fun with books. Find a big book with board pages for your infant. Or a book about machinery or animals for your one-year-old. And a story with silly words that appeals to a two-year-old. Above all, use the routines of young children's everyday life at home to provide rich moments for you and them to develop their language skills. Okay, that's the last one. A little bite. A little bite. This way, you can nurture literacy.